Hello students, today through this video I shall talk about ISC specimen question paper which was released by ISC official site for 2024 board exam. This paper is mainly for theory paper, this is biology paper 1. In this paper we will get four sections, section A, section B, section C and section D. Now in this video tutorial I am mainly focusing on section A. See my next videos to see the solution for section B, section C and section D. So this video is mainly for section A. Section A here we will get 20 marks. So according to the question which they have given to us, Question number one, answer the following questions briefly. Birds build their nests in trees. Identify the type of ecological relationship between the birds and the trees. So here birds is actually uh, interacting with the trees and trees are also interacting with birds and the relationship between them will call it as symbiotic or mutualistic relationship. Move to next question. A doctor examines the symptoms of a patient who has a high fever with chills. What disease could this patient be suffering from? So the symptoms which is mainly uh, they have given that is indicating the disease malaria. So it is written answer malaria. The genome size of an organism is around 10 to the power 9 B spheres. So which organism it is not given? So it is given 10 to the power 9 B spheres. Now calculate the length of its genome in meters. So for that we should know some basic things. Genome length is equal to distance is equal to distance between the base spheres into number of nitrogen and space pairs. This is the formula and by this way you have to calculate the genome length. Another thing you should know uh, that I have given number of nitrogen and space pairs. So the distance between two nucleotides or nitrogen as bases is equal to 3.4 angstrom that means 0 0.34 into 10 to the power 9 10 to the power minus 9 meters. So here according to this question, the genome length of that organism will be 0 0.34 into 10 to the power minus 9, 10 to the power uh, minus 9, okay, uh, minus 9 into 10 to the power 9. I have to see that again, 10 to the power minus 10, 10 to the power, so it is given 10 to the power 9, so here it will be 10 to the power 9 not minus 10, 9. So what it will be? 0 0.34 into 10 to the power minus 9. This one which is showing here. 0 0.34 into 10 to the power minus 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power 9 base pair. Okay. So then if we calculate that, we will get 0 0.34 into 1 is equal to 0 0.34 meters. This is the answer for this question. This is the genome length of the given organism. What is the probability of having a male child if the father's sperm carries an X chromosome? Okay, so if the sperm carries an X chromosome, it will fuse with the X, X chromosome to form a female. If the sperm carries a Y chromosome, it will result in a male child. Hence, the probability of getting a male child or female child is 50%. So, this is the answer. In the year 2021, the population of fish in a lake was 500. After one year, a biologist found that the population had an average natality of 120, average mortality of 65. Immigration was 25 and immigration was 30. Calculate the total number of fish that were present in the lake in 2022. 
so here first we need to see the natality and the immigration so we have to add the natality and immigration number so natality here it is given 120 120 and immigration here it is given 25 so we need to add them 120 plus 25 and we will get 145 so this is the result of natality this is the add of uh, this is the sum total of natality and immigration then we have to add mortality and immigration so mortality it is given here 65 and immigration it is given 30 so we need to add it so we will get 95 so natality plus immigration we got 145 and mortality plus immigration we got 95 so total number of fish that were present in the lake in 2022 is equal to 500 that 500 which was already there plus 145 minus 145 minus 95 so we will get 500 plus 50 is equal to 550 or 550 so this is the answer of this question means we need to add natality and immigration then we need to add mortality plus immigration then we need to subtract their results and then after we need to add that result with the number which they have given the population and then after adding we will get the result so here we, we got 550 the gross primary productivity which is in brief known as gpp of the amazon rainforest is approximately 3000 gram c per m square per year and the respiration losses that means r of 1800 gram c per meter square per year now calculate the net primary productivity npp of this ecosystem so there is the equation formula by way through which we can estimate the npp value so net primary productivity which is also known as npp is equal to gross primary productivity gpp minus respiration r so npp is equal to so how much they have given for gross primary productivity 3000 gram and for the respiration rate it is given 1800 gram so 3000 minus 1800 and the unit is written here and then we will get 1200 gram c per m square per year so this is the result for the npp value this is the npp value so we need to subtract gross primary productivity we need to subtract gross primary productivity minus respiration this we will get the npp value the next question <coughs> identify if the given set of structures can be classified as homologous or analogous structures so they have given the diagram uh, wings of penguin and fins of dolphin so answer wings of penguin it is mainly homologous organ and fins of dolphin is equal to analogous organ so this question is given from evolution chapter uh, which is mainly uh, illustrating about the evolutionary origin of life so this is one theory this is one uh, concept where the organs are developing from various sources in different pattern in different orientation so the wings of penguin is homologous and the fins of dolphin is analogous organ next question suggest an effective molecular technique that can be used to reduce the expression of defective genes in the nematode parasite so for this question the answer is rna mediated interference or rna interference which is also known as rnai rnai technology or rnai method this is the molecular technique which is useful to reduce the expression of defective genes in the mainly in the nematode parasite which one of the following is an example of naturally acquired active immunity so they have given four options recovering from chickenpox newborns gaining antibodies from breast milk 
getting vaccinated against the COVID-19 virus, taking antibiotics against a urinary tract infection. So for this question, the answer will be recovering from chickenpox, which is showing naturally acquired active immunity. Next MCQ. If oogenesis occurs conventionally in a human, which one of the following represents the correct ploidy levels of the primary and secondary oocytes? So this is showing for primary oocytes, these are the options, and this is showing for secondary oocytes, and these are the ploidy levels given. So here, um, the correct option which is matching here, the primary oocytes in the diploid form 2N, and then through meiosis, it forms the secondary oocytes where chromosome number become half and form haploid. So option 2 is the correct answer. So I have given B which is given option 2 here for this setup. So this is the correct answer. Next is assertion reasoning. Assertion the external application of insecticides is negligible for Pt crops. Reason Bt crops contain a gene that produces toxins harmful to certain insects. Which one of the following is correct? So, here the assertion statement which they have given this is also correct. The reason statement which is given that is also correct. But the thing is, so both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not the correct explanation for assertion. So, option B is the correct answer. Next, the spent slurry after biogas production is used as a fertilizer for soils that are nitrogen deficient. Nitrogen deficient. Only nitrogen from the slurry is utilized in the production of biogas. So, which one of the following is correct? The first statement, the assistance statement is correct. The spent slurry after biogas production is used as a fertilizer for soils that are nitrogen deficient. So it is correct statement. But the reason only nitrogen from the slurry is utilized in the production of biogas, which one of the following is correct? So reason is not actually correct. Okay, so assertion is true and reason is false. Come to the next question. A student aims to insert a foreign gene into the plasmid shown below for an experiment. This is the plasmid where the desired gene is incorporated. So suggest a method that can help the student in selecting the cells that contain this plasmid. So that method name is blue-white selection method. A biotechnological firm aims to manufacture certain clotting factors to treat hemophilia in patients. Mention any one aspect to be considered while choosing the transgenic animal to produce these cloning factors. So the answer for this question is transgenic animals have been developed to produce such factors that can be harvested to treat life-threatening diseases. I repeat, transgenic animals have been developed to produce such factors that can be harvested to treat life-threatening diseases. So this particular aspect is mainly considerable and this particular aspect we have to consider as the transgenic animals they have this property. A group of virologists aim to inhibit the activity of reverse transcriptase enzymes as part of their effort to find a solution to viral infections. Which aspect of the virus's infection would be impacted by inhibiting the activity of reverse transcriptase? Okay. DNA, answer, DNA is synthesized on RNA template with the help of enzyme reverse transcriptase. So this particular function of virus would be impacted by inhibiting the activity of reverse transcriptase. Reverse transcriptase actually is the enzyme which mainly helping to convert the RNA or from RNA 
the DNA has been deformed with the help of the enzyme reverse transcriptase. So this particular pathway will be disturbed. Okay, if we remove the reverse transcriptase, because here the virologist they mainly inhibit the activity of reverse transcriptase enzyme. So this way this particular aspect will be affected. Next, in recombinant DNA technology, biologists use the enzyme restriction endonuclease. Name the scientist who discovered this enzyme. So the answer, actually, uh, not only one scientist name. Uh, many scientists are mainly helped uh, are actually discovered this uh, restriction endonuclease enzyme. And the scientist names are W. Arbor, H. Smith, and D. Nathan. Next, expand the abbreviation MMR. So the full form is M. First M stands for measles. Second M stands for mumps, and R stands for rubella. So measles, mumps, rubella. So now next is the figure uh, which shows a stage in the formation of pollen grain. So name the cell that undergoes further division to make gametes. So in this diagram. Cell 1 is indicating vegetative cell and cell 2 is indicating generative cell. So their question is which cell mainly undergoes to form gametes. So answer is generative cell that means cell 2. This is generative cell. So this generative cell uh, that mainly undergoes further division to form the male gametes. Give a reason for each of the following. For a breastfeeding mother, the chances of conception are very low. So this is the reason. We have a reason. So answer is written. Just after parturition, there is absence of menstruation. It is called amenorrhea. Actually, it is the phase of intense lactation. So it is also called lactational amenorrhea. Breastfeeding the child fully prevents conception. This method is effective only for six months after parturition. So what I wrote, um, just after parturition, there is absence of menstruation. It is called amenorrhea. It is the phase of intense lactation. Breastfeeding the child fully prevents conception. This method is effective only for six months after parturition. Last question of section A. Organ transplantation patients are given the drug cyclosporine. So the answer is cyclosporine drug is used as an immunosuppressive agent in organ transplantation. So cyclosporine here it is having different property. It is also having anti-inflammatory property but in organ transplantation case it is mainly used as an immunosuppressive agent. So that's all for section A. If you like this video please share and subscribe my channel and wait for the next videos where i will be explaining about section b section c and section d okay thank you for watching this video